Egg should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Lauren, wait. killer really used a royal typewriter and if he subscribed to an origami magazine his name should be on both lists well Lauren uh, I mean that's just an assumption but yeah I suppose his name is here somewhere help me we're gonna find him The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? Excuse me, I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Hey, Lauren, I found it. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grain. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, 
youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October. Drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, at least we won't get beat. The rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! but a slow boat. Nothing but a slow boat. <laughs>
wanted to do this, but it's too hard for you. No chance, I can do it all right. Just you watch. hide and seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, Christ. That's John's voice. kid never did find any help, and his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived 
What happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? He's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. Mendez. He's the guy who rented the doc's apartment on Marble Street. We better be careful. He might be the killer. there in the VIP lounge. That's not possible. Mr. Mendez has asked not to be disturbed. Sorry, lady. Invited guests only.
seems to like his girl sexy. Sexy in a kind of dumb way.
Welcome to my little kingdom. Baby sweet cakes. You got it going on down below. Ah! That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. Okay, act two. Let's hear Lover Boy sing. Call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why.
know the guy I came to see him. Sorry, I don't speak cop. Watch my lips, asshole, because I got no time to translate. Did Paco know the guy? Yes or no? John. He said his name was John. Friend of Paco's. Always let him straight up. The killer may have left some clues in the office. Madison Page? What was a journalist doing here? Paco Mendez was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. The killer was looking for something. A bullet, right between the eyes. Instant death. Orchid pheromones. Fucking origami killer. Madison Page? She may be a witness. Forty-five caliber, 